It's been, what, almost 40 years. 40 years since this iconic film has been released. And the fact that as collectors, toy collectors, we are still able to purchase merchandise based on this iconic film, we should be very fortunate. Uh, one six scale, Darth Vader. How cool, how awesome is that? MMS, 452, Darth Vader, Empire Strikes Back. Folks, Denobi2 here. Thank you for joining me once again on a visual tour. This is my very first 1-6 scale Darth Vader. And uh, I, I'm, I'm really, really stoked. I really am. I'm really looking forward to this unboxing. I really am. Um, I've been very nitpicky when it comes to 1-6 scale figures based on Star Wars. I feel more safe as a collector collecting the the vintage and the classic I, I i tend to relate more i guess because i'm just a bigger uh, i enjoy the the classic films a lot more uh i grew up with them so i i tend to relate to them more i still enjoy the prequels but uh this is this is darth vader this is the empire strikes back darth vader and uh this is going to be the only darth vader uh, in the one in, in the one six scale that i will be collecting and uh i as much as I love Return of the Jedi, I'm going to keep this one. This is the one that's going to gonna be that's going to represent my collection. Artwork looks great. This is the uh, uh, the photo there is based off of the iconic uh, Cloud City air shaft uh, where he uh, confronts Luke. I do not have Bespin Luke. Fingers crossed. I'm kind of hoping that Hot Toys uh, decides to re-release a, a 2.0 or 3.0 version. Of Luke I, I think that'd be kind of cool um, it's been what almost 10 years eight nine years since they released best been Luke so I, I think it's about time to kind of revisit that <laughs> and uh, let's take a look here this is nice this is this is uh, kind of nervous because it's Darth Vader a iconic legend legendary character being added to my collection <laughs> And uh, this is cool. Oh, here we go. Lord Helmet. <laughs> oh, wow. That's that's awesome. Look at that helmet. Yeah. That's neat. That's really, really neat. I'm going to set hit, set the helmet aside here because it looks like it would scratch easy. So I, I want to I wanna be careful. This is, this is Lord Vader after all. And, uh, oh, look at this cape. Wow, that is super soft. This cape is extremely soft. This is incredible. I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm blown away. I'm just in shock. I'm just kind of taking my time. The, uh, the detail to the back of the helmet there. Uh, this is, this is cool. This is really, really cool. Wow. Let's go ahead and uh, get some of this wrapping off. There it says I. This is iconic uh, hand pose there. This is a gorgeous figure. I'm just blown away by it. The uh, the detail in this thing is just incredible. It really, really is. I, I just can't believe it. I'm just in shock. I I've <laughs> I've debated for years whether or not I would get Darth Vader to my collection, and uh, I I really am happy. Uh, Hot Toys did not disappoint. But this cape, holy smack! What is this like? A thousand thread count. This thing is super soft. Wow, I am. I'm loving this cape. What is this? Egyptian cotton here. <laughs> it's like I can just wrap myself in it. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm, I really do love this cape. This is awesome. <laughs> uh, all right, let's uh, let's let's do the inspection. Let's make sure everything looks uh, in par. Let's get some of this wrapping off. And uh, I, I know Vader changes from Star Wars One, from from New Hope to Empire to Return of Jedi. Uh, I I'm not anal about you know which version or what 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 changes or, or what uh, is the uh, different. Oh, what, what is this? A pepper shaker? I'm digging the pepper shaker there. <laughs> the salt and pepper shaker helmet. Uh, this is, you know, I'm, I'm, I gotta say this for Hot Toys. They always know how to do the one six scale uh, lightsabers. They really, really do. They always, they never disappoint. They always know how to knock these things out of the park. So, uh, 
I was impressed with Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi. I was impressed with his lightsaber, and this is neat. This is really cool. Put set that aside there, and uh, let's keep the uh, the graphics lightsaber. Yeah, I'm not. I don't, I'm not gonna post Vader with that. Don't. Not a big uh, animated saber uh, look there. Fan on that. Batteries. Yes, Vader will be powered up. I want Vader in its glory. This is Lord Vader after all. There's some uh, cotton there. It's a uh, instructions and uh this right here this is this uh, diorama the cloud city air shaft diorama this was the icing on the cake this is what kind of pushed me over i'm like you know what <sighs> quit making excuses denobi you don't have vader in your collection and the diorama is definitely the selling point in this i love sets i really really wish hot toys would focus more in when when they make a character, when they make a one six scale character, I really wish they would include dioramas or interactive sets of some sort to kind of help the character blend in. But this is nice. This is really really cool. I'm kind of hating on myself that I don't have Luke Skywalker from Bespin. I I, pa I had the opportunity to pass up on uh, to purchase him and I did not get him. This looks like it's gonna need triple-a batteries to light up the uh, the tower pips there and on and off they don't include batteries but I always have triple A's and uh, I always have a box of batteries and this looks like a prop from the uh, from the diorama this is gonna be fun to build and his uh, crotch stand all right let's get this going here I uh, I'm not wasting the power of this open here. Using my electric screwdriver, folks. I finally got my electric screwdriver replaced. I don't know what happened to my old one. I lost it. Don't know where it's at. Got this bad boy. I'm very impressed with it. Uh, it does the job. I'm using it there as a knife, though. I shouldn't be doing, doing that, but I am. My Amazon batteries. I always have a box of these because uh, you never know when you're going to need them. And those, uh, those light pips uh, do light up. Well, let's screw this back on. Loving it, loving it. I love this diorama. I really, really do. This is nice. This is really, really nice. The weathering effect on it, the detail, this is really nice. And easy, I, I just guessed it that it would snap onto that. I didn't really look at the instructions yet. But uh, attach that. Uh, I don't know what that would be. If this was real science, I don't know what that device would actually be used for. <laughs> uh, I guess it's Cloud City. I guess it was a. The, I guess it was like a mining facility, and the um, air shaft would filter or process. That's a ban of gas. You get four pairs of hands. I will be powering up the lightsaber. I I skimped on the Anakin on the dark. On the, uh, for the Anakin, I did not power up his uh, right hand. Darth Vader will have his lightsaber powered up. I hate doing it only because when I powered up my Luke Skywalker from, from Return of the Jedi, it damaged the fabric. Well, it didn't damage it, it, it overstretched it. So I'm gonna try to be very careful with, with uh, Vader here. And this is neat. This is a really neat design here where the glove kinda is molded onto its hand and you still got to get into it to uh, swap out the batteries. There you go. And I believe it uses two of the two button cells. And if you guys have ever, if you if these these button cell batteries don't last. You get maybe 15, 20 minutes, if that, of power. Uh, his his uh, arc reactor for his chest. The battery pack is connected to his uh, garter belt here. Yeah, it's uh, it's SNS. <laughs> yeah, it's that is going to right up his butt crack. Uh, let's go ahead and unscrew his uh, power source here. Uh, I got the wrong drill bit here. Let's get the right drill bit and let's get this uh, let's get this power box here, power module open, and it pops right off. And then, there you go. I also keep 
a supply of the button cell batteries on hand just because uh, in case I forget to turn the power off. Uh, these batteries, I, they, I'm telling you, I'm not kidding. You get 15, 20 minutes of power source if that. Uh, oh, that's cool. That's really, really neat. I like that. Vader is operational. And then he has these little uh, boxes, uh, which are connected to his uh, belt here. You want to pop that. And see, that's neat. That's the thing about this detail. That's the thing with Hot Toys. They never, for the most part, Hot Toys, they tend not to skimp on detail. And this detail is pretty badass. This is neat. That's cool. So, screw that back on there. Vader, this is, wow, all right. Get that on there, and that is cool. The attention to detail on this guy is just incredible. I, I hope the camera catches it all because I, I'm just simply blown away by this thing. That's his second power box. There's power module. And get that swapped out. I don't know if I'm going to be getting Boba Fett from Empire Strikes Back. I know he's on pre-order right now on Sideshow. I'm still debating on it. I've never been a big Boba Fett fan. Uh, I don't know. I'm still debating on it right there and this is tricky there you want to sw swapping out the hand did a quick cut on there that's his uh, regular right arm it was actually pretty easy and montage let's enjoy Vader in all its glory now Han Solo, Han Solo, give me Bespin Han Solo. I have Han Solo and Carbonite, but Han Solo with the Bespin outfit would be really, really cool. Folks, thanks for watching. Hey, if you guys uh, are interested in the electric screwdriver that uh, I used in this video, link in the description below. You are, you are able to pick up your very own through Amazon.com. Help support the channel, link in the description. Folks, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, leave your comments below. See ya.